Help. My mother flares up when I am dating. Each time I, 29F, date, my mum, 59F, will be very sulky and throws tantrums. She is a single mother and I understand that it was not an easy task to bring me and my sister, 25F, up. Recently, I told my mum I was seeing my BF, 30M, and she starts to be cranky again. When I am out on a date, she will call me non-stop and demands to know where I am. If I am at my boyfriend's house she starts to say nasty things about how I am not self-respecting and being promiscuous. She does this with my sister as well. When I tell her I will be going out on a date, she starts to throw tantrums about how I abandon her, that she cannot even say anything at home. For example, I told her me and my boyfriend are going to the park as there is a community fitness session, one hour of hit with a professional trainer. She said it is raining and it will be cancelled. I replied that no, even if it is raining, we will be doing it in the shelters and she started slamming doors and cupboards. Claiming that I threw my temper at her. When I was growing up she would read my diary and say that as a mother she has the right to my life. She has been divorced from my father for 10 years. My father was her only lover and since then she has never dated. The reason for divorce was because my father cheated and since then she thinks all men are monsters. What can I do to help her? TL. DR my mother throws tantrums when I am dating, what should I do? Update. Hi. All thanks for the comments. The house she is staying in is actually mine. My sister and I try to be understanding but I really think this isn't right. I think she has not healed from the divorce. As children we are grateful for taking care of us but we don't owe her our lives. Moving out is the last resort and I really do not wish it has to come to that. I wasn't expecting this to blow up honestly. Thank you for all the support and comments. I read through every single one. Just some additional details. Growing up, my father was very absent. He lived in another country and I hardly see him. So the divorce wasn't surprising. I am Asian hence it is difficult to just do NC as I will be labeled as abandoning her. Actually I have been dating for at least a year, but it was only recently that I told her as we are starting to get serious and it seems only respectful to let her know who I am dating. When I was younger, I can understand her trying to be protective. Now that I'm much older, this behavior is not normal to me. I will definitely go low contact with her. That's how my sister is dealing with her. Thank you for all your support, it is very heartening to know I am not the only one. Throwing kisses throwing kisses. You are 29 years old and an adult. You can move out. Stop providing her with any information. Seek therapy, learn to draw boundaries and enforce them. Hang up as soon as she raises her voice or goes to territory you've told her not to cross. Block her on your phone. Tell her to go to therapy. I was the single mom of four for many years. My children owe me nothing. I wanted him to be independent and have their own lives as I did. Your mother's actions and words are those of a sick manipulative woman who has no life of her own. This is not normal. As long as you keep answering the phone and putting up with her noise you will never have your own life or a normal one. So, I'd start with this one. Seek therapy, learn to draw boundaries and enforce them. Honestly sounds like she might need to talk to someone professionally. I understand she might be hurting or think that all men are bad but it's not fair to you and your sister to be taking the brunt of her feelings. Have you brought up to her that her tantrums are affecting you negatively? Easiest solution is to not tell her you're on a date. As people get older they are stuck in their own little fantasy world, reality. Adjust to it since it sounds like you may have to. Or move out. You can't help her. You can help yourself. Set boundaries. Stop telling her your personal SHT and get away so you have your own life from her. She does this to you and your sister because she's miserable and misery loves company. She will make sure you are miserable because she need you down in the pit with her. Think of her like a child, set boundaries and if she crosses them have a consequence waiting. She yell at you and curse at you for having a life. You don't pick up her calls for a week, she can text but unless it's an emergency, specify what that is, she can wait until you are ready. Turn your phone off. Just turn it off and tell her, I'm going out, I'll be back later, I won't be answering any calls or texts. Then leave. If she wants to throw a fit, that's not your problem. Tell her she needs to sort herself out, and that you're an adult, not a child. And remind her she's a guest in your home and her conduct should match that. If she won't stop, time to help her find her own place. Don't set yourself on fire to keep her warm, because she'll end up toasty and happy, and you'll end up an ash pile. Does your mom identify with conservative cultural norms? 
she seems to have harmful control issues but knowing why may help with bringing an end to her unacceptable behavior. If there is a cultural angle you need to be very honest with her about where you stand vis-a-vis -vis her values. However if this is trauma related then you need to start establishing boundaries and require she go to therapy to address this issue, especially if she is to continue living with you. Dang, you're nearly 30 years old and don't have to give your mother every detail of your private life and intimacy. Cut that umbilical cord already. Your mom needs to go to therapy outside of that there's not much you can do other than get a healthy distance in between the two of you.